gentleman at the front in the blue T-shirt. Okay, um, so, look, I'd, I'd be interested in asking uh, Grant King whether, given that Origin formerly Borrel Gas and as your history as an AGL gas guy, whether, um, uh, whether you've decided to uh, continue your company's path of exploiting gas and, and creating, uh, you know, being part of the 15 LNG trains that are being developed in Queensland, or whether you could actually, whether your company could look at modelling the potential of becoming a big player in baseload solar thermal, like the $20 billion of plants that are currently under construction in Spain today, that were otherwise ignored by your discussion when you claimed that geothermal not yet ready is the only baseload solution available. Now that's completely untrue, and I don't understand whether you just missed it or whether uh, you know about it and you told it, decided not to tell us. Grant, to, to be fair, I think you've partially answered that question already, but if you want to give it another go. <laughs> yeah, look, uh, I doubt whether there's uh, a company in Australia that spent more on solar, you know, we spent $100 million on solar, solar photovoltaic research now for more than 10 years. $100 and, million, we're talking $20 billion in yeah. construction in Spain. It's a bit of an order of magnitude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and none of that came to fruition. Yeah, I'm not sure I'd hold the Spanish economy up as... Um, uh, it's been funded by European banks, not by the Spanish people. Um, because it's a feed-in tariff, they pay in the future. They built them like this year, last year, and they haven't paid for them. So that didn't have anything to do with the, the, the death of the uh, Spanish economy, which is to due to a massive global financial crisis yeah. and the crash of the property market. It had nothing to do with feed-in tariffs for solar thermal plants. Yeah. They, they will all, all of these investments will need to be paid for. And, and the answer really quite simply goes back to, to yourselves and what you, what you want to pay. Um, you know, if Australia chose, apart from all of the technical issues, to want to have an entirely solar future, it could choose to do so, and it would simply need to pay um, what it wanted to pay. Um, and that's a choice that's available to you as a community.